High interest rates and soaring home prices have resulted in many people putting off buying a house. CTV's Scott Hurst joins us live with the results of a new survey and uh, probably not very surprising to many people who've been watching the housing market. Jamie, maybe not surprising, but this is something that, of course, continues to affect all of us. Affordability is an issue that, uh, from small purchases to major purchases, really affects our buying habits and affects what we can afford. As I mentioned, from small things like entertainment, of course, maybe going out with friends, buying some things at the mall, to large decisions like buying a car or, in this case, buying a home. And a new report from real estate website Zucasa is really framing this for us about how affordability is affecting the decision to buy a home and even breaking this down generation by generation. And a key takeaway from this new report of more than 1,600 people that were surveyed is that more Canadians are delaying buying a home based on the current economic conditions. And breaking it down by generation, about 67% of millennials polled in this survey survey saying they're delaying buying a home and millennials are a major group right now because of course that includes young couples, young families, the, the age range where people are really looking to get into the market and of course when more and more people are delaying that decision it really affects the buying power of this particular group and when it comes to the reasons for putting off buying a home, the major region currently was the rise, uh, uh, rise in interest rates. And of course, that may not be surprising as well. And the second major decision for making this decision to not buy a home at this time is the high cost of a home. Nearly 30% of people surveyed said rising interest rates was the number one reason, Jamie, why they couldn't afford to buy a home at this time. But there is still quite a lot of demand, despite the fact that many people are saying they can't do it right now. According to the survey, about 65% of respondents said, despite all of this, they're still looking to buy a home sometime in the near future. Jamie. CTV's Scott Hurst, we appreciate the update. Thank you.